Yo, what up, Briz? It's your boy, Guppy Boy 9000, aka the Hentai God. Back at y'all with another review that is long overdue in Briz. Briz. Now, before we get into it, I know I'm late to the party. Don't kill me in the comments. I know I'm late. I know I am like. Damn, I'm like five months late or four to five months late. But hey, hey, before the but yo, before the year ends, I'm finna get this video out to you. Cause Brez, what we have here is probably the best figure of 2023. The best female figure. In all of imports that has probably done been released. Like it literally, this is this for sure. If you because I'm gonna keep it a buck, you know, top tens, top twenties, uh, this video, that video, figure of the year, stuff like that is coming up. Everybody's about to start dropping their top tens. Bruh, if you if you know me, you already know this figure right here. Has, is going to be in my top tens. Now, I know I said Himawari, the cat lady scientist, might be figure of the year. I know I said the other, I can't even think of her name, the other seven, eight inch silicone mecha girl that's, that's kind of like Himawari was going to be figure of the year. I know, Honestly... Looking back at my figures right now, the everything that I got that's done came out this year from Sunny Co to Sakura to hell, even a couple of uh loose collectors. Like man, I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's, it's gonna be tough. I really gotta sit through and think this stuff out. But yes. She's gonna make my top 10, bruh. This for sure is gonna make my top 10, especially after like, when I just got her out and started messing with her for this review. Now, it's a couple of things we're gonna get into because Brez. If y'all like we've seen with the photos, this baddie right here is super articulated. She has a lot of accessories and stuff like that. So enough of me rambling. We're finna get rat into the review. And first of all, starting off, when you get this figure, she's not finna be looking like this. She's gonna be looking like this, fresh up in the package. Fresh up, no, fresh up out the package. This is what she's looking like. She's gonna be all armored up. All with her head and stuff like this. I don't even know. Honestly, I, looking at the design of the character... I really don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a like a wolf or a dog type helmet. Because, you know, Snail Shell, they, they release figures, but a lot of their figures, they're based off like wolves and stuff like that. I don't know if she's supposed to be like a, a wolf or some type of dog assassin or something like that. And, and, and honestly, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Looking at the size of this helmet, bruh, I don't see how her, I don't see how her head fits <laughs> bruh it's impossible to see how her head fits inside this helmet because bruh she got a mega dome the, the the anatomy of the helmet and her head does not match up but either way it still does not it still does not take away from this beauty th that is a figure now getting her out the box she comes with this head right here, which is a super articulated head. You can get all kinds of range with it from side to side. Down all the way up. And this one is uh, one of them is kind of messed up because as you can see right there on the inside. I can get it to focus, focus. Focus. And it's not. Okay, there it goes. Right there. This one has a separation at the ball peg right there in the neck. So this head on this one keeps popping off. 
So honestly, one of these, I'm really just going to have to swap the head off and just put the other head on because I'm going to keep the neutral, the neutral human head on one of them because that's what I wanted to do with it. But yes, she has up and down at the, like at the, um, shoulder, like your average figure go up and down. She has bicep swivel, which is kind of hard to get them in there. It's, it's really hard to use the bicep swivel because they're kind of tight. You get double jointed, like double jointed elbows, bruh, ball joint at the wrist, and then you get a double ab crunch, which you really don't get that much range of motion out of it. But like, see, there we go right there. As you can see, like it keeps separate. I don't know if it's, I don't know if on this one right here, if it's actually cracked or something like that. And that's the reason why it keeps coming undone. But since I got two. I'm going to do this. And as you can see what I just did, I took the neck off. So we're going to get into the reason of why that is after we get out of this articulation first. So, yeah, right there at the big old bitties, bruh. Big old bitties. She got that much range of motion. Back, forwards. Ain't really got that much right there at the waist. But... When you get past the waist, she has kick up that much right there. She has a thigh swivel, double jointed knee, and she has an ankle rocker. And on top of that, for her leg designs, she can kick out that much right there. And how they designed it is it's kind of like what we seen before and I hit the camera but we seen this design before on second acts with um their figures how they do theirs like if you look off in there how they do their it's, it's weird how they do it. it's like it's um it's not really a Y joint or a T joint it's like a T joint fused into a Y joint but it's like the T joint instead of the T joints connecting like the T joints, they go in, they curve up and plug into the I don't know. I've never really just took these apart to just see. Matter of fact, I take that back. It is a T joint. It's a T joint all the way up right here in the torso or at least on the second axe. And then it's an extra joint that connects to that T joint that goes into the leg and it gives it that curvature so you can get the extra range of motion. And I'm literally reviewing a whole nother figure while I'm supposed to be reviewing another figure. I will put that to the side, but yeah, it's the same thing on this one. So yeah, <laughs> bruh. So yeah, matter of fact, it makes sense. So here we'll get back into it. It makes sense. They did the same thing. So obviously the people at Snail Shell has been studying second acts. And as you can see, you got it right here on a soggy. As you can see, the ball joint that connects to the T joint or the little socket joint, it does a curve and then goes off into the leg that allow, that allows for that extra range of motion so you can get those hentai anime girl poses or ninja poses or whatever you want for, for all that type of stuff so she also has this same design because bringing um uh where is she at toppy gal right here bringing in toppy gal toppy gal does not have that same design hers is just a regular t-joint which just allows her to kick up and down. But since this is a like an assassin, they wanted her to do a lot more range of motion of assassin type moves. And with one of their new releases that they're releasing, it's the um I don't I forgot her name, but um it's the one that that's that's about to release come April that has that dress, and you can take the dress off of her. And have her all the way down into her underwear. So basically, she also has the same hip design that this assassin has. So it seems like they're going to be implement. 
like implementing this a lot into their figures, which is actually good because it allows for a lot of range of motion. Like, see, look at this. You can get like all of this. Now, the ab crunch ain't really all that great, but I think they kind of sacrificed that a little bit because you got to do a whole lot of um, you do a whole lot of torso torso swapping with the alternate version of her, which is this one where she has her weapons and stuff off of her. Now, looking at this, as you can see. Put matter of fact, putting her to the side. Matter of fact, no, looking at this, as you can see. She has a tail right here. Now, getting into her accessories, I'm going to explain to y'all why that is. You can also swap out parts for her to get her like this, which why I took her neck off. She comes with an extra neck. And that plugs into this head, as y'all can see. That goes on top of this that allows her to have her helmet off also you get an extra like an extra crotch piece that without the tail right there so you can have those beautiful assassin cheeks right there those beautiful assassin cheeks without the tail so you can see the separation the parting in the seas right there yes and yeah so you can pretty much have her without her her armor and stuff like that, like assassin down and put her right here. Now I will give y'all a note. Now when it comes to this, to the leg joints on the snail shells, you kind of got to adjust it a little bit because if you, it has this thing where when it gets adjusted wrong, it, you got to like, it starts tightening it up and it starts popping off the legs. And then you got to kind of adjust it back to where, to where you can start kicking it out and doing stuff like that. See, like right there, but see, it's working now, but I fi I literally figured it out. So you gotta constantly make sure that the leg, it, I just ripped her leg off. You gotta make sure that the leg, like right here, is turned facing this way, is all the way out, like this and that it goes in and then you get your up and down but when it pushes back it'll get the leg jammed up against the hip and it'll pop it off so if that starts happening to you if you get this figure don't worry just know that you got to adjust that that little joint inside the crotch to get it to go back to normal now moving top you gal out the way now, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Accessories. Yeah. She comes with an alternate crotch piece, like I said, that gives you her where you can see the shape of that booty. Now, also getting into other accessories, she also has two like right here in your her back, because I know a lot of y'all are going to y'all are going to say, well, hey, where do you plug in her her weapons at? Well, she has two tabs that go in her back. And like so, as you can see on this one, right here, you and you really got to be careful. You take your fingers or whatever, and you pull those out. Like those little tabs come out. And what those little holes are there for, those are there so you can plug in her accessories that we're about to get into. So with that being said, she comes with two open hands, two gripping hands. As y'all can see, and two fist hands. On top of that, she also comes with, or at least one of them, I broke one of them. She comes with a, a little sheet for her knife, but I ended up breaking it because I was being, I, I was being me. I was being me. I was trying to plug it in. And I, I ended up breaking it. Don't fault me for that. 
She also comes with an alternate face, which is kind of like a a worry face. But I think that's since she's an assassin, that's probably like a little innocent worry face that she used to lure people in before she goes, you know, like for the final kill or whatever. Hence is why she probably has the 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 alternate head without the helmet. <laughs> and then on top of that, you come with this right here, this little tab that'll go that allows you to go into the head. If it okay, yeah. That allows you to go into the head so you can move the eyes around like so because it wouldn't be a snail shell figure if you could not move the eyes as y'all can see now getting those out the way let's get into her weapons she comes with a gun a grappling gun right here and she comes with three hooks like one i want to say matter of fact they're all kind of adjusted and i think these i think these actually oh yeah no yeah she comes with them all adjusted one where it goes into the gun like this where it's pretty much in closed mode she's not finna fire or nothing then she has these two which are kind of like when it fires and i guess when it actually hooks onto something before it hooks onto something and when it hooks onto something and reason for that is because you get a bendy wire right here that's pliable you can bend it and put that let's see and, and i ain't never even tried this you plug it in all the way like that and as you can see it's all the way in that into the gun holster and then you take the opposite end and you plug it into one of these right here let's see if i'm getting that on camera and boom you got her firing her grappling gun and, and that's actually pretty cool that they, they implemented that, bruh. Because see, a lot of... Okay, because see, this right here is the reason why I say Snail Shell, to me, is really the best import company <laughs> that's doing it right now. Because all these other import companies that be making these figures with these wired capes and these grappling hooks and, like, say, these, these Spider-Mans and Batmans with the grappling hooks... The webs and all that. It's like, bruh. They gave you a figure with pliable actual wires to plug into a grappling hook so you can pose the figure grappling. That would be dope for an actual Batman. I think my like nobody ever done that with a Batman. Now I think Moffex has done it with the Hush Batman, but it wasn't a bendy wire. It's just like a little thing you plug into the gun and then that's it <laughs> and then even with spider-man's you you get like a a straight shooting web and if you bend it the wrong way it breaks now see this right here is how you do it give us something that's like bendy that we can do things with now just imagine this being on a spider-man bro and you can do all of this right here imagine that being on a spider-man Imagine this being on a Batman, a, a grappling hook, where he's swinging through the air and then he has to grip it and boom, right there. Like, look at, like, no other, comp no other company is doing that. That's why I say Snail Shell is, to me, is the best that's really doing it. Now, even though they're not making your typical mainstream known like characters and stuff like that that we see every day they're making their own original characters and making them better than the than the, the top big dogs that we see now get now me getting out of my rants 
in my shit talking. Now, she also comes with two other weapons, and these will be the last two accessories. She comes with a knife, and she comes with a holster for the knife. And you can plug those into her back. And before we do that, I'm going to show you how this is all set up. Now, as you can see right here, that is the postcard that she comes with. And like I said, they did not waste no time. And they made sure they put every bit of effort into just look at the ass on her, bruh. Bruh, just look at that ass. Okay, yeah. Bruh. Like I said, you plug it in right there, which I'm probably not going to do with this. So I'm going to probably take. I'm going to do. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to do it with these right here since it's really meant for it. To go on this one. Plug that in right there. And make sure these are all the way in. Put our head back on. Or at least take the one from the opposite. The, um, the other figure and put it on here. But since the head on this one is messed up. And yeah, I'm already fucking her up. Like I said, right there, put her leg on. See, that's what I was talking about when I said you got to make sure you get her leg on right. Because if you don't do it right, it's going to be popping off. Yeah, we're going to do it with this one. Okay, I'm going to stick with this one. So, be careful. And let's make sure we don't break this one like we did the other one that pops in right there. It's in there securely. And take one of the guns right here. The ball peg is right there. As you can see it. Okay. Plug that one into this side right here. You kind of have to force it. Just make sure you don't break it. And boom. Take this one. Put it up there. Now you got her with her thing secured. And you can pretty much have her. Like with her. she pr pr Pretty much she's ready to go kill some, kill some folks, bruh. She's ready to go do things that assassins do right there. She's ready to go to war. She's one bad bitch. And excuse my language, y'all. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to make sure my YouTube videos are decent. So I don't, I don't have to say a lot of cuss words and stuff like that. Because you know, we're trying to get, we're trying to get. We're trying to go big time, Brez. We're trying to take this channel all the way. So, yeah. Excuse my language. But, yeah, she's she's all weaponed up. She's ready to go do some things that assassins do. As y'all can see, boom. And also, I will let y'all know that on the flip side, yo, once you plug these weapons in here, it is going to stress out the little peg holes, which mean... These little tabs right here are not going to fit all the way back in securely. They're going to be loose and be falling out. Yeah, and the reason how I know is because I've already done that. And the only reason why they fit in her right here is because I haven't plugged nothing in there. And just with it being cold, it's done tightening the peg holes back up, which make them kind of fit securely now. But yeah, just know when you plug those in, you're not going to have... You're not going to be able to put these back in there unless you probably dip it in some hot water and dip it in some cold water to close them back up. So, yeah, that's that. So now, now we went over articulation and we went over her accessories. We did a little bit of shit talking on other like toy companies or trash talking. Excuse my language. Now it's time to get into some size comparison. And with that being said, 
Uh, let's start off with some snail shell waifus first. Here she is next to Toppy Gal. And I got to make sure I get the, the snail shells in there because they're the ones that really count. And her, she's actually a tad bit taller than, than um, Toppy Gal. Where is the waifu of all waifus, the top waifu? Bruh. Man, see, just look at this, bruh. Let, let's take Toppy Gal out of it. We already know Toppy Gal was a dope figure. But at the same time, the reason why we liked Toppy Gal was, or the reason why I liked Toppy Gal was because it was a beautiful tan girl in a super revealing bikini. That's the main reason why we really liked Toppy Gal. Now, as of this year of actual action figures, like figurines, being able to pose and just having dope stuff and being cool and sh just stuff like that. <laughs> Take Toppy, like Toppy Gal was cool last year just for having a sexy figure on the counter that's halfway that's barely dressed she's in a bikini she's she's a she's a sexy tan girl in a bikini now let's take that out that out and bring in let's bring in the other snail shells the ones that actually come with stuff that's actually that's actually cool Like, get the sisters in here. These are literally the coolest figures that was ever made of this year. And these two right here have been in the works for a long time. Like, all, like, these have all been in the works for Snail Shell since 2019. Especially these two. And, bruh. Was it it was really worth the wait? Like four, like three to four years, and we got these. These, like, bro, these figures are beautiful. This is a beautiful figure. Now, moving them out the way. Here she is next to, to a, a model kit that I built some time ago. I can't even think of it. Think of the name. And which it was frustrating to build this. And honestly. For how much I pay for it, it, this thing looks a tad bit cheap compared to most model model kits that I got. Even though it's it still has a cool design, but yeah, here she is next to her, and you can kind of create your little lore, like because that's the reason why I actually got her because I wanted to do this right here, have assassins, and yeah. Have like a little army of, of assassins. And she be like the little head boss leader lady. This would be like the main the main character. And the other two are just assassin robots that just follow her around. Like little minions. Like you can't tell me that's not cool. Now moving these out the way. She stands quite tall with her. Uh, here she is next to... So a Figma figure, Sophia. And Sophia and her are actually are actually the same height. And are actually the same size and bust too. They may not look it, but yeah, she's a tad bit taller than Sophia, but they actually they actually uh like really stack up towards each other. Now here she is next to waifus of all time which another waifu that's actually finna that's gonna make my figure of the year this right here this baddie here she is next to sakura and is asagi igawa And man, these are, these look great together.
and besides the size of her head, she's she's taller than them, but at the same time, kind of the same size. But she seems bigger just because she has a bigger head than them. So yeah, she she's she goes great with them, but due to the heads, she's not really gonna match up. Here she is next to another second axe figure. And these two actually go together quite well, just based off the size of their heads. And another figure I'll throw in there. Super Sonico, another figure that took forever to release, but was worth waiting because of how great it is. Another figure that's actually going to make figure of the year. So yeah, she's taller than Sonic O, and but actually actually can go with Sonic O because Sonic O's head, her and Sonic O's head kind of match up, and she actually goes with her. So you can actually do if you're one of those people who care about head sizes and stuff like that. You want proportions and all of that to kind of match up when you're world building your anime girls and guys all together. You can fit you can fit this together. This can actually fit together. Uh, here she is next to a Storm's Collectible Jury, which is the best Storm Collectibles or another figure that's going to make my top 10. Probably the best figure of Storm Collectibles to ever be made female wise. And here she is next to another Storm Collectibles, Storm Collectibles. Chung Lee, and I'm not gonna lie, Chung Lee could get it in this dress. Another figure that I'm glad that we got a, a figure of in an outfit like this, Chung Lee can get it in that dress. Now, yes, also, bro, just look at like, see, look at the heads on these and just see how far that they that they came with this. But <laughs> I'll, I'll get in that to, to another time because we're, we're gonna do. We're going to do a kick bash 2.0 video. Uh, here goes. Here she goes next to I Cameo. And, you know, they're kind of the same size. They got the same size head. She's just a tad bit more smaller. Got us a, a smaller build. Here she is next to. A Kotobukiya figure, Valletta, and they kind of fit together. Like, yeah, all yeah, they fit together. They go in the world together with each other quite well. And get ready to start wrapping it up. Here she is next to some more assassins. So we got to throw her in. She's a ninja. She's an assassin. She got to go next to. An assassin. So I'm gonna compliment her with two assassins. Or well, at least I think you I ain't watched the Spy X family video, so I'm assuming your is a is an assassin. But yeah, either way, here she is next to your and I forgot the other girl's name, but yeah, there she is next to that. And that's pretty much it. That will be it for oh. Just in case if y'all want to see it, because I know somebody's going to ask. I don't have no heads on these right now. But moving these two out the way. Here she is next to this body. And this body right here. And with that being done. Before we close out this video. I'm going to dig over right over into here because I have a separate box open. And I'm going to do this for this review. I'm doing this for the breads. I'm cracking open the separate other box. Pull this out. Put the ponytail and stuff together. 
I'm doing this for the breads, bruh. I'm doing it for the breads. We're doing all of this live on camera. And yes, I know we're about to reach that 40 minute mark. I know some of y'all may not like that. I'm trying to, I'll be trying to keep these videos short. That's part of the reason why I really didn't want to review her because I knew this was going to be a long video because of how much stuff she comes with and what all you got to talk about. But I know y'all wanted to see it and I'm having like a real big trouble plugging her freaking ponytail in. And yeah. So with that being said, okay, here we go right here. As you can see it, Get it flush with the neck. Yeah. You can make it work. If you have the Roman key bodies, you can make it work. Right here. Yep. You can make it work. If you have the right, you really don't have to put a ball peg in there. You, I mean, a, a, yeah, like you don't have to put like a little uh, peg in there. You just need a double ball peg. You don't got to mod anything. But yeah, as that will pretty much be it for size comparisons. As y'all see, she her head, if you do the right modifications, it can go on a Roman key body if you know how to do it. And... Yes, with that being said, Brez, this figure is amazing. And before we go, we'll showcase other figures that they're making and fit other figures that they have made. And this one is the next one to come out. Because like I said, Snail Shell is really killing it. Yo, they got this suitcase girl that's about to come out. And this right here is the other female I was talking about. I got three of these on pre-order. So yeah, I'm ready for that to come out. And she has, like I said, she pretty much has some of the same articulation as the assassin. So, showing that off, Brez, like I said, this figure is amazing. If you can find a way to get your hands on her, on her go get it. Also, with that being said, thank you for all the support that y'all have. Yo, on the last video, I just reached 7,000 in a day, no, two days on the jury kick bash with waifus video and it's all thanks to y'all brass y'all came through and y'all supported the video and man yo i ain't gonna lie that, yo that means a lot to me man so i wanted to say man thank y'all i love y'all man y'all are amazing thank you for all the support thank you for all the subscribers and Yo, when you do stuff like that, man, that I ain't gonna lie, that really does push you to act. That, that pushes me to, to, like, man, I gotta, I gotta give y'all more content. So I'm gonna start working on more and more content and more kick bash videos and stuff like that to give y'all ideas. Because, like I said, I do this for my fellow brez of culture, bruh. So with that being said, thank y'all for all the support. I love you all, man. Also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys next time at the citadel of guppies peace